We're in Scotland. Liz is in the bathroom. Say hi, Liz. Hello. We're in Scotland, which actually wasn't originally on our itinerary. We're supposed to be in Ireland right now, but instead we're in Scotland, which I'm not complaining about. I love Scotland. I'm about to head to the train station. I'm going to Edinburgh, and Liz is also going to Edinburgh too, right? But you're staying in a castle. Yes, I'm staying in a castle. Liz is staying in a castle. My dream. Follow Liz's travel Instagram, because she'll probably post pictures there. So many castles. But there. I'm going to Edinburgh, and I'm kind of on my own in this port, but like everyone's gonna be in Edinburgh, so I'm not really on my own. I'm staying at the same hostel that I stayed at last time I was in Scotland, and last time I was in Scotland, I also didn't vlog. So if you didn't know, I've been to Scotland before, and I love it, and I'm so excited to be back. I love Edinburgh. I'm also back in the UK, which is so weird, because I used to live in London, if you didn't know. It's my only personality trait. Okay. Train station time. I'm in Edinburgh now. This is so weird. I was here in 2019 and it was one of the like last like Euro solo backpacking trips I did before I moved back to the States. Now I'm here and I'm back in the UK, which is so strange because um, I did live in the UK. If you didn't know, if you're new to the Chan, I lived in London for a year. I'm going to, I think, show Mary Callahan and Boris around the Royal Mile because I know where it is. We're like right next door. Also, I'm, I'm in this bed and I don't know. I think somebody else thinks that's their bed, but I really want bottom bunk, so this bed's not made back up. By the time I get back, I'm gonna be like, hey, somebody's in my bed. I'll give you an outfit of the day, because I feel like I never do those anymore. This shirt is my lovely roommate, Elizabeth, that she let me borrow. These pants I got from Zara, they're, it's actually part of a suit set that I'm very excited to wear. I thrifted this trench coat in Denver, go watch the vlog. And then my jewelry is Brandy Melville and then Starlight Village. And my tote is from the Oceanarium. And my shoes are at Crusty Dusty Reeboks. I haven't vlogged out of the hostel yet, but it's sunset. Sunset is, sun is setting over there. Guys, I'm back. <laughs> Mary's back. back Hello, back. I'm Callian, by the way. Callahan. Oh, yeah, look at Mary's fit. She really it's went nice. all out. Scottish oh, love it. Can you tell them where we are? Because I don't know. It's oh, called. it's called Calton Hill, and it's a little sunset lookout. And it's very pretty, and, and it was surprisingly really, easy to really get pretty. here. Mm. Also, the stairs were giving deck nine. Very much that hill? Lido, very much Lido energy. I don't need a coat anymore. Mary just asked someone to take a group picture of us. She looked at her and ran away. I was just like, hi, can you take her picture? And she was like, beelined. Yeah, it was. Like, did looked at us. Like, very rude. Knew I was talking to her. Rude. And then just. <laughs> It was really cute. And now here we are just vibing again. Back to the vibes. We're not letting that bring us down. Callahan does a really cutie little thing when she's on SAS. I want her to share. So my grandfather died a couple years ago and he loved to travel. And at his funeral, we handed out these stickers. So his name is Richard. But we call him Poppy Dick. So it's a little bit, once you see the sticker, it's a little bit <laughs> weird at first. But this is him, this is the sticker, and I've been putting him all around the world. So it's like he's been in every country and um, he loved cruises and traveling. So thought, you know, it'd be something that I could do for my dad and for him. So cute. There's an Instagram. It's called Where in the World is Poppy. So, so cute. I love it. Good morning. Edinburgh Day 2. Going on a hike up Arthur's seat, and then we're doing a picnic today. Here's my outfit of the day. Same trench coat as yesterday, thrifted. I have a turtleneck sweater on from Hollister, jeans from Pull and Bear, platform docks, and I just got this new purse from Zara. You guys know I have my crusty dusty fanny pack that I wear anywhere and everywhere, so I thought I should upgrade a little bit because she's starting to break, so. Fit check! I think this is really cute. I think this is a good one. Today we're hiking up to Arthur's seat and it's something I've never done before and I've wanted to do ever since I left Scotland. So I knew it was something I had to have on my list for this trip. Am I dressed for hiking? Absolutely not. Mary definitely has more of the hiking vibe today. But it's like, it's an easy, it's an easy hike. It's a nature walk, okay? So hopefully I won't be drenched in sweat by the end of this. But it's already so pretty. Hello? Hi, hi Scotland. You're looking very cute this morning. I 
scary <laughs> alert. Yeah, all right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Face and then we smile. Just Hello. Like the queen of England can't oh, do this. <laughs> <laughs> Is the camera still rolling? Yeah. Oh, cut the cameras. Oh, dead ass. Okay. Here we are. Arthur's seat. Arthur's seat. Yeah. It's like right there. And all of Sass is here as well. So that's fun. The sweater was a choice. The turtleneck sweater was a choice. The platform docks were also a choice. All, and the jeans. Yeah. I've made many choices today. Were they good choices? Yeah. <laughs> that's up for debate. But we're going to go back down. And then we're going to go to the meadows. And we're going to have a big picnic. Oh. And Emma's here. <laughs> back in the hostel now we went on our hike and it was so beautiful and then we hiked back down we went to the meadows and had a little picnic i didn't film anything but it was very nice i promise and if you want a good picnic spot in unbred that's definitely the spot to go to it's like in the university area too so it's very like young environment i'm on my own now and i've already done a lot of the touristy stuff in edinburgh last time i was here so i'm just gonna run some errands <laughs> very boring i know but i need to go to sports direct and get a tennis ball which sounds strange but it's like i use it on my back because i have scoliosis i'm a scoliosis girly i literally sound like an old lady and then i have to go to the doc martin store because my docs are starting to crack a little bit and i need to like condition them so there's something else i need to do i don't know i need to just pick up some random bits and bobs when i changed my jacket because i love the trench coat but i wasn't feeling it anymore i'm just gonna put my airpod back in listen to my music and go for a little walkie into newtown and go to the shops Ooh, I have to get postcards. I think that's what it was. Join the postcard club. <laughs> okay, let's go. Which one? Is it this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm tagged. <laughs> look at that! Look at that hashtag. <laughs> I'm reposting this Instagram right now. Good morning, day three in Edinburgh. I have my whole hostel room to myself now because somebody, the other girl, just checked out and let's manifest no one checking in. But I'm about to reunite with Miss Courtney Cam. She's standing down there waiting for me. Um, today we have a little brunch moment. I have this sweater dress from Hollister that I have yet to wear on this entire voyage, but I'm very excited to wear it. Um, and then I have my thrifted leather. I have some tights and I have my docks and my docks are betraying me also because I'm getting a really bad blister. Okay, we're gonna get brunch. I'm gonna, oh my God, I'm being reunited with Courtney. Courtney got COVID, Courtney got the ick. Um, we were in France, so I haven't seen her since we left for France because we didn't travel together in France And then we had the whole stretch of sea that we didn't see each other and as you guys know, she's a vlog regular like she's always with me So it's been far too long Sorry, I'm already sweaty. There are two kinds of people the people that get chicken pitas and the people that get candy gloss on their pancakes <laughs> a wild courtney in her natural habitat the harry potter <laughs> gift store hi guys would you I look love... who it is guess what harry potter we went and got brunch and it was really good and then we saw a uh, march for climate change and it was like all kids which was very cool and then we walked around i gave Courtney a little tour of some of the Harry Potter sites. So we went to Tom Riddle's grave and then now we're on the street that inspired Diagon Alley. You can kind of tell by the colorful buildings, but it is very pretty. I did just drop a considerable amount of money at Edinburgh Skincare. So if you're one of my family members and you're watching this, no, you're absolutely not. Um, I did get another tote bag. <laughs> Courtney's carrying it, but it's cute. Ugh, being a tote bag girly is just such, it's such a hard life. I died, I went to heaven. Paul time. Okay. We're at Ollivander's yes, currently. Yes, at Ollivander's, the real one. I got a butterbeer, obviously. I got a Harry Potter tote bag. I also got a tote bag. I got a little postcard. It's 
Yeah, that. Oh, that's so cute. I got a Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw patch. I was gonna get a sweater, but they're like 80 pounds. So I'm just gonna put this on a uh, vest that I already own. I didn't realize you got so yeah, much. I only got those there. Oh, oh. But then when we were at the bookstore, I also got the tails of the Oh, yeah. We went to the bookstore. We went to a bookstore earlier, and I also got a book. I don't remember the name is. I'll put it on the screen now, but I'm very excited to read it because I read another book by that author and is one of my favorite books of all time. So I'm very excited. Can you get a video of me cracking and open a cold one? Cracking open a cold one? Thoughts? Yes. Very good. <laughs> Why are you holding your head? We just booked a potions class. So we really are having a Harry Potter day. Yeah. We're gonna go to the post office and get some stamps for my postcards. We're gonna get some strawberries and some drinks and go to a go to the place that I went earlier this week with um, Callahan and Mary to watch the sunset. And then we're gonna go to the potions class later. So that's gonna be fun. Let's go get some stamps. I'm so excited. <laughs> Haul time, I got a Nessie pen and a Nessie bottle opener for seven pounds and I am gonna go bankrupt, but it's fine. This is what our picnic setup looks like. Look at that. Okay. These are two of my favorite ciders. If you're looking for cider rack, Koppelberg strawberry lime, and then Old Moot, I don't like, the, I've never had this flavor before, but I like their other flavors, so I'm probably gonna like this one. My favorite is the lime one. Best, bestie bay. Oh my god, are you like, look, influencers in the wild. We're waiting for some of our friends to join us and then we're gonna pop the bubbly. What are we gonna celebrate tonight? Me being COVID free. Oh my god, yeah. That's, you are so right, you are so right. I know. It's the way we're on crack and it's not even 8 p.m. We haven't had a <laughs> single drop of alcohol. I want him one sip of that because he's gonna spill. <laughs> Gotta go. Look like you're happy to be here. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> She's so happy. Just so She'll be even more happy. <laughs> I mean, where's the lie? My arm twisted. Twist um, so having just a cheeky nanos with the girlies. Shout out Nile. When mine comes out, I think I might die. What? When my food comes out. Oh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Enjoy, guys. She is my. <laughs> you're done. No, you're done. <laughs> Nando's equals devoured. Courtney, thoughts on Nando's? <laughs> okay, we're on our way to our potions class. Little cocktail night. Harry Potter, we're gonna wear robes. So Courtney has been very excited for this, so that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're a little late. Who's surprised? Raise your hand if you're surprised. Yeah. 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 Two tone wristwatch paddock. Hello. We're back in the cabin. Back on Miss MV. Scotland, I freaking love you. I'm moving here. I'm moving to Edinburgh. Confirmed, not clickbait. We had a brunch at a cafe on like almost over a mile, but then we went to the train station, took the train. We just got back on the ship and I forgot to mail my postcards. Guys, it was almost such a crisis. So I went to reception and they told me no. And so I'm like, mm, you know what? I'm just gonna try to leave the ship. <laughs> Even though it's a one-way gangway right now and I couldn't do that either. But then I saw RD Noah coming onto the ship and I said, Noah, please help me. And guess what? He went and he passed him off to somebody, got him in a mailbox. Postcard club members, keep an eye out. I also didn't buy enough stamps, so I have extra postcards. I'll just do, like, some people will get postcards from Copenhagen this month and some people will get them from Scotland. Anyway, back on the ship. That's the end of this vlog. I love Scotland. Scotland loves me and I'm moving here and best port ever, honestly. Between this and France back to back, I'm on a high. I'm up here. But we're about to go to Scandinavia where the currency exchange rate is not ideal and then also everything's super expensive. So the vibes are about to like lower, like a little bit, but still gonna be fun nonetheless. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, love you the most. Kisses, bye. Now the only consolation prize is maybe that the simulation. No, uh hey guys. 
Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Bessie here. <laughs> this is what I got today at the souvenir shop. <laughs> I'm gonna put the simple music behind us, you know what I'm talking about? Nessie pen. Okay, now pop your cider. I'm literally scout. You did it. Oh no. What? The battery's gonna die. Ugh, take it. No, no, no.